What's good, MABW team? What's going on today, MABW fam? I'm back today with another video. In today's video, okay, let's get into this, okay? First and foremost, before I even go into this video and let y'all view it, to you ladies out there, just because you work for a government, city, or state official, stop making it seem as if you can butt in when a police officer is arresting someone. Stop screaming out that you work for the government or you work for the mayor when you're interfering with an arrest. Let police or state troopers do their job and then whatever you have to talk to them about, you talk to them about that after they get done doing what they have to do. These police officers sit up here in videos and tell people time and time again, don't, and don't interfere with an, with an arrest or an investigation. For some reason, people act like they don't understand that. Also, women out there, to the black women specifically, because this deals with a black lady who works for the mayor. When a police officer that you're interfering with comes to arrest you, don't yell out to the top of your lungs that it's racist, that he's putting you in handcuff, and don't scream out, I work for the mayor. It's not going to get you anywhere far. And screaming out you're racist is starting, is starting to become the oldest trick in the book that most people, especially black women, use all the time. Stop saying that all the time. They're arresting you because you're obviously doing something. It's not just because you're black. Stop using the same old tactic time after time after time again. It's getting old. If you work for the mayor, let the mayor get you out of that situation then. Just take the L while you're there. Deal with it. I'm not going to talk anymore. Let's get uh, let's get right into this damn video and we'll analyze it together. Let's do it. Would you please? Yes, it is. Turn around. Turn around. A morning traffic stop on I-76 involving a Pennsylvania state trooper has now gone viral. The person videotaping the incident works for the mayor of Philadelphia. Saturday night, I'm Walter Perez. The big story in Action News is the confrontation that unfolded along 76 in Center City. It began as a traffic stop involving an employee of Mayor Sherelle Parker's administration. That employee's husband showed up on the scene. When the state trooper began to cuff him, that's when the mayor's employee began filming. Action News reporter Brianna Gallagher unpacks the details regarding the now viral video. She's live in Winfield Heights with much more. Brianna. Yeah, Walter, well, that video is now circulating online, and that's part of what police are using in their investigation. Mayor Sherell Parker responded to that video, posting on several social media channels, saying that that video is concerning. According to Pennsylvania State Police, a trooper initiated a traffic stop on I-76 westbound around 9 o'clock this morning for a vehicle with multiple violations. The incident was filmed by Selena Morrison, the city's executive director of the Office of LGBT Affairs. I work, I work for the mayor. I work for the mayor. While police didn't identify those involved, Mayor Parker did in her social media post, and so did Morrison's sister who posted the video. Morrison was driving a gray Infiniti sedan, the vehicle the trooper initially pulled over. State police say a green Dodge sedan then pulled up, parking behind the trooper, which prompted the trooper to approach the Dodge. State police say the driver of the Dodge, who was identified online as Morrison's husband, Darius McLean, resisted arrest. That's my husband. Please. In Morrison's cell phone video of the incident, you can see her husband on the side of the highway, the state trooper standing over him. While the trooper is trying to handcuff McLean, Morrison captures it on her phone before a scuffle ensues. It's I'm black. Would you please? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> the phone drops as they question what is happening, and the trooper responds. We ain't done nothing. I know. It's fine. We ain't done nothing. It's fine. <laughs> This was a simple traffic stop and because you didn't have your lights on. You didn't have your they lights on and you were tailgating. The trooper briefly explains why he approached the Dodge that pulled up behind him as he was conducting a traffic stop. Man, I don't know who you are. I'm her husband. So I don't need someone rolling up on me. You're, You're under arrest for resistance. You're full. No. Okay. How did I Okay, let's stop it right there real quick. So he stated that 
the Darge Charger pulled up on him while he was pretty much doing what he had to do. He doesn't know who that person is. Now, to any police officers or people that are in law enforcement that watch this, correct me if I'm wrong, but there's been times where y'all could be put into situations where people just pulling up behind y'all and y'all don't know who that person is. They don't know if these people have a gun on them. They're going to try to do something to them. That's why you can't get out the car irate with police officers while they're conducting an investigation or making an arrest. And then I've, t I've stated this to my audience before. Usually you always see in video footage what happened at the end. You never see how they got the officer riled up prior to that. And as you can see in the video, when the wife was recording her husband, the husband was stated to have been resisting, at least from the police officer. Now, if he wasn't resisting arrest, wouldn't he, wouldn't he already have the handcuffs on him? That's a real question. If he wasn't resisting arrest already, he should have the handcuffs on him. So obviously he was resisting arrest. And then as soon as his wife pulls out the camera, that's when they want to start yelling, it's because I'm black. It's because I'm black. And then she has the nerve to say, I work for the mayor. So what? So basically you're telling me that y'all are crooked and that y'all don't have to follow rules that everybody else follow if you work for the mayor. Correct me if I'm wrong, audience. If you work for the mayor, you don't have to follow the same rules as everyday citizens that live in Philly. Correct me if I'm wrong or in any city at all. You see how this stuff always plays out? You see how it is? Let's, <laughs> this, this is a good you one. You started fighting with me. No. I fought you with you. It's over. It's over recorded. Oh. Now, the mayor says that she won't comment any further until the investigation is complete. The pair, they were taken into custody for resisting arrest. However, they were released later tonight. No charges. Now we're live at Winfield Heights. Brianna Gallagher, Fox News at 10 on PHL 17. Walter. Let's stop the damn video right there. What do y'all think? The officer stated that he put him up, um, was doing an arrest because the person didn't have any lights on and was tailgating. Now, we know Philly is a pretty decent sized city. People do tailgate out there. Some people, trust me, we don't like being tailgated. So if an officer does that, he's going to uphold the law and pull you over. He might give you a warning, might give you a ticket, a citation, whatever, to tell you, you have to stop doing what you're, what you're doing. But some people, sometimes they get irate and mad already soon as, soon as an officer pulls you over. You start telling them, you only pull me over because I'm black. Then you start getting more irate. They pull you out of the car. You start getting irate again, resisting. Um, they could just be detaining you. You start resisting. Now you're in trouble when you're on the ground, screaming out you're black. And then your wife will pull up or start recording, talking about she works for the mayor. Who gives a damn? Who cares? I'm so tired of this crap happening to my audience out there. Y'all give me y'all real feelings on this. Anyways, that's my video for today. If you like the video, of course, comment, like, and subscribe. It ain't costing you a damn thing. And of course, I'm going to holler back at y'all later. Peace.